feeling those aches in your muscles and pains in your joints due to that monsoon? Here's how to feel a whole lot better. All right, the change in the weather with the monsoon and, you know, the little bit of rain here and there. Some people, unfortunately, feel joint pain. But today to get some answers, we got Dr. Amy Fountain. She's a licensed chiropractor at the Joint Chiropractic. How are you doing this morning? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to have you on the show because, yes, unfortunately, there's a lot of people, due to the change in the weather, they start feeling pain all over their body. So is it true that once the weather does change, especially when rain is in the air, you start feeling it in your knees and stuff? Is this true, Amy, or is this a wise tale? Okay, there's conflicting results on that, conflicting studies saying okay. that yes and no. Oh. But the truth is when the pressure drops, barometric pressure is the weight of the atmosphere on us. Mm -hmm. So when the pressure drops, it takes the pressure off of us. Oh. There's high pressure um, in the atmosphere that's mm -hmm. constantly on us that keeps our tissue compacted, basically. Okay. It puts pressure on our tissues. When that, tish that barometric pressure drops, the weight and the pressure is taken off of us, leading to swelling of the tissue. Okay, so when you see that swelling, is it mostly just in the knees, or can people experience this in their shoulders or back? Where are you feeling it? You can feel it anywhere in your body. Okay. We have lots of people that come in that have headaches, mm. neck pain, feet pain, shoulders, it can be anywhere. Anywhere, and how long does this last? Is it just for the change in the barometric pressure that we're seeing when the monsoons are typical between now and September, or does it carry out through the whole year? There's tending, there's times when it gets worse with the barometric pressure, but okay. when the monsoon season is over, that's when your body starts to go back to normal. Okay, well, we have some things that you brought that you're going to show us, and we've got some pictures right there of the monsoon, and when the monsoons come, it is a bit different. I mean, you really do feel it all around you, but just the fact that your body encompasses this on such a level with, you know, all the joint pain is amazing. So tell us a little bit about how it affects the spine here. Okay, so with the spine, the tissues around it can expand because okay. when the pressure is not being put on the spine or on your joint, it will take, it'll um, expand and go back to, instead of having it compacted, it's uh -huh. going to expand. And how um, severe can this pressure be for some people? Some people it can be debilitating. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, at the Joint Chiropractic, that's why they need to come see you because you can work them out, correct? Yes, we can. If you come in, regular maintenance on mm -hmm. your spine and your joints will help take the pressure off, as well as doing range of motion, keeping motion in your joints by doing stretches throughout nice. the day and keeping up with that. Little things like that can go a long way so you don't have that joint pain. But again, if you need more assistance and help, it's thejoint.com. We'll have a link on our website, azdailymix.com. Right now, we're going to continue the talk on the monsoon. It's not going away, and Sandy's going to cover that and see how long these monsoons are going to last.